Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Zumi B. Leah. And um, if this is your first time coming across my video or seeing my face, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to join my Big Happy Family by hitting the subscribe button right below this video and then the notification bell. And if you're an oldie and a goodie, mm -hmm, you guys know I love you. You're awesome. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a fashion haul. I'm going to, show, I'm going to be showing you guys some new clothing items that I got. And basically, I don't know if you've been following this channel, if you're an OG, you know that I put on some weight in 2019. And I basically moved from a dress size 8 to a size 10. So I usually used to feel like I need to lose the weight, I need to lose the weight, but I just realized that I kind of like this weight. The only challenge is because I'm actually not that tall, I'm like 5'4", so it's very easy to get, you know, like round and start to look like a football if you're not careful when you are my height so basically i just started to clean out my closet give away some of the old clothes that no longer fit and then get a new one so i did some kind of shopping and i didn't just shop because i wanted to shop it was therapeutic for me i was going through something and shopping just was one of those things that helped me <laughs> so let me go go right ahead to show you guys the things that i got this is basically everything that i got i spent a good amount of money i'm not even going to lie and I didn't get them, and I actually got them off of an Instagram vendor. I'm, I'm just a bush girl, guys. I've actually never shopped from any clothing store online. I tried once. I tried to shop from Shein. I spent a good amount of money, and I paid through my PayPal. Then I waited for my clothes to arrive. And believe me, it took two months. In short, it, didn't, it never arrived. After two months, I had to ask for a refund. And, and luckily for me, I got a refund. So I've never shopped online this was bought off instagram and i actually went to her shop to pick them up because i've been scammed a lot through instagram vendors if you guys know what i'm talking about you know so let me just go right into showing you guys what i got i'm going to be starting with this piece right here this is a very classy jumpsuit you guys this jumpsuit is so cheap and so classy that's why i picked it and i like the colors because it's really colorful I felt like it was going to look really nice on my dark skin. This is something I can use for like a semi-formal event, for like an outfit, you know, like a party sort of. That's what I got this outfit for. And it comes with a belt. So I can use the belt, or I can use a regular belt of, um, with it. But I think the, it's just a tad bit, tad bit longer than me. So I may end up cutting off like maybe an inch or two from it. I may, I'm not sure. So yeah, and then I think I actually struggle with taking it off because it's not a stretching fabric so like having to like take it out i need help this is not the kind of dress i can wear or take off on my own can you guys relate the next outfit that i have here is another jumpsuit i think this by far is like my favorite or one of my favorite is a black jumpsuit and it has this very beautiful silver detail at the back the zip is like beautiful then it has this access um this uh, metallic design on the neck so i wouldn't have to wear it with any neck chain or any neck piece or whatever i'll just put on my earrings and i really love how classy this looks i can dress it down with flat or i can dress it up with heels and basically i feel like it's one of those outfits that will be multi-purpose for me so this is the second one so guys the next outfit i have here is this um chiffon blouse and it's like a green polka dot i don't really like polka dots for funny enough but this one was kind of nice and you know it's like really what's the word it's flowy i think that's the word because it has you know the flowy arms that just fall and lap over each other and then it has this um elastic waist to like accentuate the waist and like really grip me so i feel like this is something i can dress up i can wear it with a pencil skirt as you guys see me wearing in the video or i can wear it with like jeans to make it a bit casual or i can even wear it with like a bum shot if i'm feeling like maybe going for a night outing or whatever so i feel like it's one of those multi-purpose pieces and this is something someone can actually wear to the office if you dress it the right way so guys the next thing that i have here is this bodysuit and it's a neon orange bodysuit and the material is so light and so stretchy extremely stretchy and this part of the bodysuit is so long so much so that it doesn't give you any pressure in your thigh area or in your crotch area so which is what i love about it 
so i paired it with this particular skirt as you guys can see i'm not really a fan of um flowy skirt i'm not even going to lie actually i like flowy skirts but not midi skirts i think this one is like a three-quarter length which is not really what i don't really like three-quarter length clothes because of my height but i kind of like just picked this one because i really like it i think it's really cute and trendy and it gives me it reminds me of that whole Mary, Marilyn monroe kind of vibe and then the waist i think the waist was not gripping me as much as i would have liked i feel like this will also benefit with using a really big belt on it just to cinch my waist to give me like a nice silhouette so you guys this one is another one of my absolute favorites i really love it i like the way in fact that it has stripes because stripes have it have a way of like slimming and elongating your body especially stripes that go from that um, especially um vertical stripes stripes that go from up to down they have a way of slimming you down so i like the color on this one and i feel like i can always you know add a pop of color maybe like a red or whatever pop of color i want in my shoes or whatever bag i used to pair with this outfit the outfit is extremely stretchy it is comfortable on my skin and it was the perfect fit it also has pockets so that's like extra comfortable you guys like see my hand is in the pocket so i really really like this one i can dress it up with heels i can dress it down with flats that's what i like about it okay so guys over here i have this knitted um a sleeveless top i really love the color i really love the color and it's actually stretchy it's light it's not gonna make me hot i just really really like it it's just one of those things that i can either tuck it in or fly it out maybe with a jeans or whichever way i want so so the next thing that i have here is this palazzo trousers this palazzo is i think what fabric is this okay guys i'm sorry i don't know what fabric this is but you guys let me know if you know what fabric this is and it's kind of kind of like has this um, pleat sort of on it which i feel like makes it look very very classy and girly and then it has i've never worn palazzos that have that are like slim downwards or have these carrots is it carrots or what do they call it basically most of the palazzos i have are just wide leg up from top to bottom but this one in short when she showed me this one the lady that i got it from i was like mm, i don't think i like it but when i put it on i really fell in love with the color and then the fit on me so i really like it it also has this um fabric belt that comes with it just to further like cinch your waist and give you that nice hourglass figure that we all like you know hey guys this is another favorite you guys won't believe i almost picked i almost dropped this one because the money the auntie was calling for me was too plenty but it i had summed up everything that i picked all the money she the money that that that, that she gave me like the total cost of everything was basically what was in my bank account so i was basically she wanted me to empty my bank account and i'm like auntie no they didn't swear for me uh -uh. so guys i almost dropped this one but i ended up picking it because it's extremely cute it's floral the color will fit me the fabric i think this is like a satin i think this is a satin but not one of those shiny shiny satins so it's really really cool the design i could i can wear it with or without a belt but of course when i wear it with a belt you guys know it is extremely sexy and girly and cute and in a sense and in some really the kind of clothes we wear to go and see man so guys the next one outfit uh, that i have here or rather it's a top a blouse is this one what really got me about this outfit was the fact that it was metallic and really shiny so i felt it would be very nice for like a night outing even a daytime outing too so like it was really glittery sparkly bronzy goldy grayish you know i just really really liked it the way it bounces off light and then it has this cold shoulder thing that you know just allows you to give some shoulder action which i think is extremely sexy and i feel like uh, it's best actually tucked into maybe like a high waist skirt or a high waist trouser and yeah i really like these details on the hands that make it look like you're going to dance salsa that is what it reminds me of and i think it's really cute then this is the um, high waist skirt i've always wanted a high waist black skirt for a while like a pencil skirt so this is it. it's just really stretchy and it has a thick fabric and i am going to rock the life out of this because this is like a staple like in a wardrobe you can wear this so many ways with so many different things so yeah okay now let me show you guys the footwear that i got so this is the first one you guys i don't really like heels 
Okay, let me not say I don't really like it. I don't like stilettos particularly. So I always go for wedges or box heels. So this one, I feel like the um, whole plastic transparent footwear are actually trending right now. And I really like them because they basically go with anything. And you know, I went for the one that is kind of new so that I can wear it with basically anything and everything. So this is what I got. And I'm in the size 39, this is size 39. So over here, this is another footwear. So guys, this is another one. I've already put it on so it doesn't look like it's brand new, but it is brand new. And these ones are like transparent, but they have the black here. So I basically consider them black shoes. But these are the kind of outfit and um, shoes that you can wear with almost anything. And I got this one in the size 38 and I was really wishing I had gotten it in the size 39 because it feels a bit too tight and it makes my ankles hurt because I went a, a size down. I bought a 38 instead of a 39 because the lady that was selling it to me when I inquired, she told me it's always good to get something that will be snug and fit because if you get something that is not so like tight or snug on your feet, when you sweat, it may get a little bit slippery and it may be shaky when you walk. So I was kind of like, I felt like it would be a better choice to go for a 39. But putting it on, it feels so tight and it puts a lot of pressure on my ankles. And I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm not a, a high heel person. I'd rather wear flat anytime, any day. If you guys know any trick I can use to make this more comfortable or make it expand just a bit, please let me know. Share in the comment section and I'd love to try it out. And because, because I mentioned how much I love flats, you guys should know that I definitely bought some flats. I was even contemplating if I needed to show you guys this or not, but I might as well just show you guys because it was part of my haul anyways. So I have these flat slippers here that I feel like this, the fabric of the flat slippers actually reminds me a lot of what my mom used to wear. I feel like all these are mommies have, you know, slippers like this and I really like it in a funny way. I think I'm just old school or something. I'm just weird, but I really like it. I feel like it's just classy, you know, with the gold detail and all. Then here, I have this uh, brown slippers that I think are really cute. I've been having a hard time trying to decide what fabric this is because it's almost like satin, it's almost like suede, it's almost like, like leather. I don't know what it is, but it looks really cute. I just love it. So like for those makeup jobs and those quick errands I have to run, these are perfect for me. So guys, this is the end of the haul. Please do let me know what you think about the things I got. What is your favorite piece? And where do you think I can wear some of these outfits too? Please let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will try my best to bring you many more fashion related and try-ons and haul videos from now onwards. You guys let me know if you want to see more of that. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, drop your comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!